What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey. This is your other host, Chris. And well, I already said it before, this is Get a Bucket. And as you can see, we got our favorite girl on the screen, Lex. Lex, what's good with you, baby? How's everything? I'm good. What's good with you, Chris? What's good with you, right? Listen, Lex is well-versed in sports, ladies and gentlemen. I got to try to make sure I get this correct, okay? Lex, you're a Laker fan, you said, correct? I am. You Since also. Childhood. You also said USA Volleyball. Yeah. And this was the tricky part because you said you said MSU basketball and then Michigan State football, correct? So growing up in the D, I went to the 313, um, and my mom is a grad of U of M. Uh, go Blue. Um, we just knew that U of M football was that good. Like it just always come across like, you know, hail to the victor, like, but you was in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> they had their moments. They had their moments. I'll give them that. Oh, but, I mean, Michigan State seemed to be a little, at least yeah. recently, at least recently. Shout out Tom Izzo. They get the final four. Okay, I give them Yeah, okay. and so, like, Coach, I, like, I grew up in the, like, the Drew Nysel, the Maurice Aker era, like, I've got I've got a magic MSU jersey at home. Ooh. Like, I, yeah, like That's... we always knew that deal. So I'm kind of, it's kind of split in my household between basketball and football for me. That, I mean that's a okay, that's an interesting that's an interesting little scenario. I I don't yeah, I, we might have to talk about that on another episode. How do you deal with that flip flopping back and forth? Not like not like yeah. not flip flopping like how Braun be doing. You'll see why ah! you see why I mentioned Braun later on in the show. Trust me, but not like and not like that. But that's interesting how, how, how y'all fans like that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, we're gonna have to we got to see what motivates you. Then I think that's that's about right, Chris. You you got anything for you? No, nothing at all. That, that's the first time, ladies and gentlemen. This brother been silent. I'll be. What? That's crazy. We'll get him to talk, though. We'll get him to talk momentarily. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And as y'all know, we got the wacky segment. It's one of my favorite ones, personally. We get to talk about a few things. But, of course, you know, we're gentlemen. We got to let Lex start off because she said she has something entertaining to talk about. So, Lex, I know you said you had something to say. I in my purse for my last $20 because clearly me and Jonte Porter have something in common. We both just broke out here. Um, maybe I also need to be running a gambling ring with my cowboys. I don't know. Um, but how most people bet on their pl playing minutes. You're out here betting on sitting on the bench. Like, basically, I'm about to secure that. I'm leaving you with something on my day off. I applaud that, honestly, because work smart, not hard. Like... I mean, you know, but following the eleventh commandment, thou shalt not get caught. Uh, but like they said, the casino doesn't care when you lose; it's when you win in that you're a problem. And clearly, Dante Porter, why skin men out here causing problems? <laughs> <laughs> that that was kind of funny. Let me ask you this: Do y'all think players are still like are 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 betting on themselves outside of the outside of him? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we need to figure out like where their channel is. Maybe they got a little conversation, a little text thread, because FanDuel has been hoeing me tragically. So yeah, like we we did a piece about that, and then some, some specific player pissed me off. Chris, you remember that, right? <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Facts, 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 facts. All right, so then um that the since you led off of something strong, I gotta talk about my I gotta talk about my name. All right, look, I got to bring some prop for this one, because guess what? My man Kyrie Irving just pledged K-A-I. The sigh is silent. That's right. Yo, to the news we see, y'all. But hear me out, though, right? He did cross everybody and their mama. Uh, here, so here's the thing. Kyrie is the Deuce Club on that line. That's right, 2010, 2011. Then we also got here, shout out to Tyler Thornton, because that man was the ace on the line. Andre Dawkins, the Trey of the line. Everybody got to love a Trey, right? Then, of course, Tail Club. Shout out to Joshua Harrison. And if you want to talk line names, I'm just going to say Kyrie's was killer crossover. And we got to give love to the ADPs, Nolan Smith and Kyle Singler. And shout out to their dean, Coach K. But again, he crossed K-A-I. 
the the side is silent, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I I told y'all like I feel like that was a good one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was very good. What was what was it? Wacky or whack e for y'all? Kyrie, yeah. he was rough. Fuck, fuck. Oh. How tall is this man? He's about like what six one? That's he's a tall line. He's, he's six two. Nobody he's six two. He's tall line. He's tall line. <laughs> Also, my names? It's killer crossover. It's killer crossover. Thank you. Oh, my Yeah. Tyler Thornton was savior of Kansas. He saved us at that three-pointer. I'm telling you, hey, hey. I, I, th- I think that was a pretty good one. I think that was a pretty good one. <sighs> wacky or wacky? I, you got a good laugh out of me. I'm saying wacky. Bad, bad. You say Okay, all right, that's a bet, that's a bet. So then my next and final one then. Look, I told y'all about these Knicks. They are the worst team in all of sports. I'm talking about including the Cowboys. Hear me out. The NBA was founded 1946. The last time the Knicks won a championship was 1973. But they were the most valued team in all of NBA with two chips. That means... Over a total of 78 years, they've gotten 2% of the championships that they could have gotten. They are behind the Pistons, ladies and gentlemen, but they were called the most valued team until the Warriors replaced them. Make it make sense for me, but if y'all think that's true, y'all think that's wacky, y'all comment below. We're going to get back to the show. Again, I I told y'all, right, like Knicks are the worst organization all of sports do y'all agree or disagree like i feel like somebody in the comments is gonna be like get you from detroit so i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to prevent spike lee from being in my book that's what his name is on the she's trying to be nice but i mean respectfully Y'all been around less time and y'all got more championships. That's all I'm saying. Detroit got more chips than the Knicks and the Knicks been around longer. That's true. I feel like I'm still going to be different. I, <laughs> so, I, um, so I, I, want, I want them to have good days because I know what it's like to have a bad day. I know what it's like to have 51 bad days. Um, I don't know what it's like to have seven good days of bad days. <laughs> But <laughs> how about you? You know me. The the Madison Square Garden pet guys, trash or trash. Um, I would say they they not the worst organization in all of sports because the pieces got common sense, but not total common sense. I was about to say, I don't know if they got common sense about it, but all right, that's cool. I mean, they're doing all right this year, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's looking like they, it could derail them. Uh, Chris, wow, right? nice behavior. We'll show people how to be a, uh, I guess, a respectful yes. loser. Respectful loser. Some bull. Chris, go ahead <laughs> and take us and take us out. Go ahead, Chris. Anything you want to say before we close up shop? It's been real sports fans. Um, holler at me on socials. I'm K Alex Is Right on Instagram, right spelled W R I T E. Um, you know, look for me around, get a bucket, and go Lakers. Hey, big boss, anything you want to say before we close up shop? Um, I'm not really a fan of March Madness anymore. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it anymore. It is what it is, but I'll, we'll, we'll talk about it another Another day. Uh, appreciate you guys for coming on to the show. Greatly appreciate you and appreciate you all for listening and tuning in as well. Go ahead, Chris. Yes, please like and subscribe and comment. Tell and tell anybody who's everybody about the best damn show. It's all it's sports show running right now. I'm your host. I'm your host, Chris. I'm, I'm, I'm your host, Trey, as well. <laughs> and I'm what? Peace and blessings. Take care.
did not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here, Pip.